I'm Jackson Pierce and this video is about small claims court. So three or four years ago, this girl named Brandy sideswiped my car when I was at a red light. She admitted it was her fault right away and she promised she was going to pay for all of the damages, but I still insisted that a police officer come out and file a report and stuff. I had an estimate done on what it would cost to repair my car, about $2,000, give or take, and I called Brandy to let her know and then never heard back from her. This is because it turns out Brandy did not have car insurance, so she was going to have to pay for those damages out of pocket. So instead of, you know, arranging a payment system with me or asking for another estimate, she decided she was just going to ignore my phone calls and hope that I went away quietly into the night. Unfortunately for Brandy, going away is not really my style. So to get my money, I decided to sue her in small claims court. This video is how I went about doing that. Now, please keep in mind, I am not a lawyer. I'm not a trained professional at anything. Just wanted to get that out of the way and make sure we're clear. But uh, anyway, here we go. First step, assemble everything you have that shows the other person who, for this case, will be called the defendant, owes you money. Contracts, checks, police reports. By the way, had I not gotten a police report when Brandy hit me, I would have been dead in the water because there would have been no way to prove Brandy had actually hit my car. Always have the police come out. Always, always, always. Secondly, figure out how much the person realistically owes you. If they've gypped you $300, you cannot sue them for $3,000, no matter how big of a jerk they've been, no matter how much emotional stress they've caused. Once you figure that number out, check and make sure your case actually qualifies as a small claims case because every state has a limit on how much money you can ask for in small claims court. Georgia's limit is $15,000, for example, but I think some states are as low as $2,000. Number three, go to your local courthouse and tell the nice person at the front desk that you want to file a small claims case. Go down the hallway and file your case. If the person lives out of state, by the way, like Brandy did, there's going to be some additional paperwork you have to file. You will have to pay court fees to file, by the way, which is around $50 or so. Four, provide the defendant with a copy of the plaintiff's claim. You're the plaintiff, by the way. You know those movies you got served? Well, this is getting served. The defendant is being served your case. It's really much less exciting than the movies, which really weren't that exciting either. You will not be the one personally doing the serving, by the way. There are several ways it can be done, but you'll most likely just pay a fee and have the sheriff's department do it for you. Number five, you'll be scheduled for a hearing. Show up on time and wearing something your grandmother would approve of. I am not kidding. One time I was in a courthouse and I saw this girl wearing a shirt that said, objects under shirt may be larger than they appear. Classy. Now, in some states like Georgia, for example, they try to sort everything out before your hearing at something called a mediation hearing. But if that's not the case, you will go to your hearing and your court date will be set. Number six, go to your court date. Have everything organized and ready and know exactly what you're going to say. For some tips, watch one of those daytime court TV shows. You know, Judge Mathis, Judge Judy, any of the above. Study them closely. Watch how both the plaintiff and the defendants act. And when you're in court, do absolutely everything in your power to not act like those lunatics on television. You know what is never going to help you win a court case? Going, nah uh nah uh you lying, you lying, you lying. It doesn't do any good. After you, the plaintiff, have said your piece, the defendant will get to say his piece, and then the judge will make a decision. In the situation with Brandy, we actually settled everything in a mediation hearing. I won $2,000, which she paid to me in $100 increments bi-weekly for the next year and a half. I am sure it made her absolutely miserable, and I do not feel bad about that. I never told her, though, that if she had just acted human and taken responsibility for the damage she'd caused, I would only have charged her the $200 to fix my side mirror that she knocked off. I kind of secretly hope she's watching this video. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and yes, I do have 4,000 subscribers now, so I will be drawing a winner for fabulous prizes, but that will have to happen tomorrow because I'm going to bed. Yeah, okay, bye.